Howdy, howdy, and welcome everybody. Uh, doing another little tutorial here. Uh, today I want to show you how to update a mod pack on the Twitch launcher if this little update arrow is shown. If you click the update, you can change versions right here. Select betas, current releases. If you click update to a new profile and then continue, it will make a whole nother instance of the mod pack. So if you have custom mods installed or uh, settings that you've changed, keybinds, uh, video settings, sound changes, that's going to all be erased if you update to a new profile. So in general, you do not want to do that unless you want to keep your old one so you can play on multiple servers or multiple single players. Uh, if you get a mod pack that updates regularly like uh, we do with the Minecraftian mod pack because it's a living mod pack, we're still troubleshooting problems and stuff. So... If this isn't showing, you can either exit Twitch, relaunch it, and this little update button will generally show. If it doesn't, you can get to the same window by clicking on the mod pack itself, and then you will see this here. If this isn't here, you click versions. And in versions, you can just select the target version. Click that, click continue, and wait a second, and you should see it's gonna start downloading and uh, giving you the information right here. There we go. Installing. It backs up. It does keep a backup. Then it's going to download the new mods. In this case, uh, you saw it was a new beta because we removed about 21 mods uh, trying to uh, increase performance of the mod pack. Um, you can see I have custom mob spawner and mo creatures in my personal uh, mod pack uh, version for the server. It's not available on the Minecraftian mod pack on Twitch. So we'll let this finish. You can also go back and see the progress right here. Then once that finishes here, my internet's probably a little bit slow right now. I apologize. Once that's done, you'll just click play and enjoy. Thank you for watching.